So I made a mistake. I'm on a job today where my clients are renovating their house and that includes a full rewire. Now that part's been carried out by a different electrical contractor. So when I done my quote, I stated it that I would install circuit into the existing consumer unit. Now our communication was off a little bit obviously because my client took that as I was happy to install my EV charging point and terminate it in this consumer unit where that isn't really what I meant. I thought that the new consumer unit would be in place before I came to install my charger. So I've turned up and technically can I connect my charger into this one? Well yes, as long as I replace this type AC RCD to a type A and free up a spare way. But so sometimes you need to ask yourself, what would you rather do? Change the RCD, chuck a new breaker in, job done, or could I do the job better? And will I sleep better at night? Absolutely. So what I've done so far is install a new Henley block, a new earth block, and new meter tails down here. And down here, I've installed a new fire rated Skullmore consumer unit. This consumer unit and meter is in the center of the house. Now this causes a lot of problems getting a cable from here to an external wall. But because my clients are renovating this property, I have the option of going through the ceilings and through the joists and through different rooms. So, so I'll show you now the cable route that I've chosen and how we're gonna get outside. I think the moral of the story on this one is when you're quoting these jobs or any jobs just check 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 and check again make sure you've got that wording right make sure you don't get caught out now on this occasion it was just a bit of miscommunication and there's no problem whatsoever and to be honest by the time I take it into account the cost of this type ARCD I'd much rather just put the new board in and take a little hit to be honest if you're renovating your house and you're in a similar situation to this and you haven't got an electric car, it's a really good idea to get someone in just to run that cable from this point to an outside wall somewhere. They can just put a junction box there, but then you're ready to go and it's gonna save an awful lot of upheaval later on. Now with today's EV installation, I am installing a Zappi. Now, as I've mentioned before plenty of times, a Zappi has a built-in type A RCD, which is required. For this installation, I'm gonna be putting an RCD main switch in, purely because of the cable route that this cable is taking, where it's going through walls and it's going through ceilings, which means that the cable itself requires RCD protection. clients today have a brand new hybrid Range Rover on order which is a very nice car. So here's some stats on the vehicle. The version of the Land Rover that my customers have purchased offers drivers 503 brake horsepower on the engine which gives you a 0 to 60 by 5.6 seconds. Top speed in EV mode though is 87 miles an hour and it has an estimated driving range of 70 miles but realistically it's probably about 56. It comes with a 38.2 kilowatt battery and it has 50 kilowatt rapid charging capabilities. So on a rapid charger, it will go from zero to 80% charge in less than an hour. On a seven kilowatt home charger, you're still looking at about five hours from a zero to 100% battery charge. Now you may be asking yourself, why has my customer gone for a home charger when they've just got a hybrid car? 
Well, the thing is, they're renovating the whole house and I know and they know their next step will be a full electric car and we have the infrastructure now in place for that. Now the Zappi seems to be my number one most popular charger to install. And I think this is down to one, the app, where that's really good and interactive and easy to use. And two, the way it integrates so well with renewable energy. Okay, let's have a final run through the job and I'll show you exactly what I've done. I ended up changing the cable route in this downstairs new cupboard. So the cable now runs up the side and along the top and then through the first floor, floor space. The cable then comes down the wall there. Please excuse the hanging cables, this isn't mine. This is just part of the rear wire that's ongoing. And then we have my new consumer unit. We have a type A double pole RCD. 32 amp MCB and surge protection. So just once again, if you're renovating your house and you've got walls down and you don't mind ceilings being cut out, take the opportunity to run an EV Ultra cable to an outside position where you may have an EV charger installed in the future. And finally, we are outside with the white tethered zappy. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel.